Okay, so today in this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate a lymphatic technique for the frontonasal area uh, with a goal of disengagement of the frontal and nasal bones. And the type of technique or uh, a description of the technique would be an alternating nasal pressure technique. Uh, but in truth, for clarification, it's more intended as a technique of frontal and nasal bone disengagement rather than an effleurage or milking type technique. So thinking of our articulations between the nasal bones and frontal bones, we're going to um, make contact from one direction or another. We have a couple of different options of how we're going to cause this disengagement. So one option is we can come from above, uh, find where our frontal bone meets our nasal bones, and then on either end we can um, apply a force that is inferior and medial to slightly disengage those bones from the frontal bone and then we can employ that technique on the opposite side and then we can continue to travel down that nasal bone to continue that disengagement and also encourage disengagement between the nasal bones and the maxilla behind it. Okay. Alternatively, we could also come to the other end, so starting on the nasal bones and then moving uh, superiorly to the frontal bone, um, just past that suture, and in this instance, um, drive a force that is more superior and medial or superior and lateral, or superior and medial or superior and lateral, attempting to try to disengage uh, the bones from each other. Um, an alternate uh, hand position that could be used for the nasal um, disengagement is um, with your thumbs crossed and on either side of the nasal bones. And then from this point of view, my right hand is going to be pushing towards the right and my left hand is going to be pushing towards the left. And I can work down the nasal bones kind of in an alternating fashion. And in yet one more modification, I can then come to the side of the patient and using my fingers make contact with the frontal bones with my cephalad hand and the nasal bones with my caudate hand and try to distract them away from each other to disengage and then translate from side to side in an alternating nasal pressure kind of uh, method to encourage that disengagement. As well, I could even use uh, balance ligaments as tension type principle to find a point of balance tension and then hold until it releases and then uh, return and reassess. So that completes this technique.